Welcome back my dear students. Today we're going to be learning about commenting, line breaks, and non-breaking spaces. Okay, so what is commenting? Commenting is to put a note in your code so that other developers will be able to know what is happening in your program. Okay, so right now a comment is not necessary. It's not ne really necessary for these few lines of code. All right, but if your project is getting bigger and bigger and you're working for multiple projects and it's very hard to maintain and read the code if there's no comment on it or a note on what is happening on the code with your algorithm all right especially if you're already working with javascript and other programming languages so in html you can put a, a comment by writing this okay so it's an angle it's a left angle bracket and a and the exclamation point and then minus minus okay uh, as you can see the vs code is helping us auto to complete what we're trying to do and that's really cool because it uh, helps us become more productive as a developer so right now anything in between this comment okay for example this uh, this is to display uh, a sentence all right just just for example so if we're going to uh, refresh in the browser the comment doesn't display on the browser this is only for you as a developer all right there's also a shortcut to comment out a code sometimes commenting out a code is not just to put a note but to debug or troubleshoot your code for example your code for some reason is not running you can comment out a code in HTML, in CSS, as well as in JavaScript by just doing this, okay? You will just have to highlight the code and then you will press the control key and then the forward slash in your keyboard. The forward slash is just beside the left shift key, all right? So I'm going to highlight this one. Sorry, I delete. I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to hold control and then the forward slash key okay as you can see it turned uh, the, the the text in our VS code uh, changed into green I'm going to refresh the browser and this code uh, doesn't run anymore okay it doesn't display in the browser all right so I'm going to put it back Okay, like so I'm what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the code and then I'm, I'm pressing again the control key and the forward slash okay to put it back same thing like what we did earlier to comment it out okay you can actually toggle it like so all right so all right, I'm going to comment this out as an example of a comment and re refresh the page now uh, the codes uh, runs again in the browser okay Okay, the next one is line breaks. So to illustrate this one, I'm going to uh, put an inline elements. Inline elements, if for example, the B, okay, the bold uh, tag. Okay, uh, this is a sentence. This is a bold sentence. Okay, if I'm going to do that. I'll just zoom out from my uh, screen and then I'll tap here the M tag okay uh, this is another sentence like so right refresh the page so even though um, in our VS code uh, if I'm going to uh, enter to put this into the next line okay like that Okay, in our in our browser, they still belong to the same line, okay, because they are inline elements. I talked about that in a little bit in our previous video, so uh, we we can discuss. I mean, it's also um, a topic that can consume one lecture, but I'm, I'm I'm trying to introduce that concept little by little. Another inline element is the italic element. Okay, this is an uh, italic element italic HTML element okay it's also an inline tag okay it will consume the remaining space at the right so 
Um, I'm doing this because I'm going to illustrate the. Uh, I well, I think I deleted the line break. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to illustrate the so-called line break. Okay, line break. Line break is an HTML tag. It's a self-closing tag. It's called BR. When when we hit the tab, okay, compared to the one that I already teach you, the uh, P tag, for example, the rest of uh, the title tag, it has an opening tag and a closing tag. Okay. But the BR tag is a self-closing tag. All right. Just do not be confused of that. Um, actually, you can still put here BR at the end. It will still work fine. Okay. It will still work fine. Uh, but it will save us a few lines of code without doing that anymore. Okay. But uh, not all HTML elements are self-closing tags. So there are only some. The BR tag, for example, is a self-closing tag. All right. So the BR tag, the line break. I'm going to erase this one. Is to uh, is to force the browser to go to the next line. For example, right now, um, if I'm going to comment this out, refresh the browser, and we don't have an extra line there. If I'm going to put it back, and we have an extra line. If I'm going to add another BR tag, and we have an extra line. So. I'm going to put the BR tag in between this inline elements, the B, the bold element, the emphasize element, and the italic element, because they are in the same line, and I want to separate them uh, using the break tag. So I'm going to erase this one first, just one, because I'm going to cut this, and okay, and put it right over here. Refresh the page, as you can see, uh, from here. We are able to push the next element into the next line. So I'm going to copy again the BR tag into the next element, refresh the page. Now we are able to separate this inline elements into their own line. Okay, so that's the use of the BR tag. And the next one is the non breaking spaces. Okay, non breaking spaces is basically just a space. We can use that by typing this code right here. Okay. We have an ampersand n b s p and then a semicolon or a semicolon, right? However, you want to pronounce it, okay? So, yeah, uh, this is an unbreaking spaces. This is the equivalent of one space in your space bar on the keyboard, all right? That's the equivalent of that. So, to illustrate, I'm going to zoom out in a, my browser and Okay, I'm going to delete this for now. Refresh, so you can see. Please focus on this uh, string of characters. I'm going to put a non-breaking spaces in between. Refresh, so you can see there's an extra space. I'm going to put an additional one, and we have another space. Another one, and we have another space. So those are the non-breaking spaces. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to sh uh, I'm going to show you our first challenge so that we will be able to apply what we have learned so far, okay? Doing the challenges uh, actually is the part where we level up our skills, okay? Uh, in fact, even when I'm just trying to illustrate a concept here in a video, if you're also going to replicate what I'm doing by typing the code on your end, you will also start um, developing your coding skills. Alright, I hope you learned something for today and see you in the next video.